Hi everyone, it's Tennille from Paper Milkshake. I'm back with an unboxing video and I am opening this beautiful mail that I received earlier this week from my friend Cheryl in the UK. So this is our first swap and Cheryl, um, Cheryl has had um, a couple of injuries recently and um, also attending a lot of concerts um, of her favorite artist Will Young and um, she's only just started getting busy crafting again and I feel very privileged to be one of her um, recipients because I've been stalking her Instagram page for a while now and really really excited when I received this in the post so without further ado I am going to open up what she sent me all I've done so far is removed and cut off the seal for the wrapping on the outside and I have no idea what's inside so let's take a look. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to open this successfully without ruining the beautiful packaging so I am going to have to cut this along the bottom. Cheryl and I decided to do a little medium sized swap of goodies, um, sorry, of um, crafting made using any of the crepe paper or uh, Maggie Holmes collection so we kind of left it to our partner to decide what they wanted to do um, I haven't started crafting well I've only just started crafting Cheryl's package but I haven't sent it off yet because I'm still putting everything together and I did tell her that I will probably likely use carousel um, but I may even mix it up with some other collections as well no doubt because of my recent obsession with making memory decks cards, I will be sending her at least a few of them in her happy mail. So she has sealed this really well. <laughs> I am going to be careful not to cut myself and try and get this open. So I will link Cheryl's Instagram account below. I don't think she has a YouTube channel as yet, but um, her Instagram her Instagram account is amazing she just does really beautiful crafting Wow okay I can see that she's decorated the inside of this box with some beautiful Dolce. Dolce now I know I'm pronouncing this wrong because there's a lady by the name of um, Stephanie her Instagram and YouTube handle is sweet crafty girl and she being you know South American or Central American sorry if I've got your ethnicity wrong Stephanie but she pronounces it Duce, and I'm assuming that is the proper Spanish pronunciation for the word spelt D-U-L-C-E. I've been calling it Dolce, which is wrong. It is, in fact, Duce. <laughs> and Stephanie, happy for you to correct me if I'm wrong again. So look at that beautiful, gorgeous um, decoration that she's done on the inside of the box. I rarely decorate the inside of packages, and I just get so inspired when... Um, when my pen pals do it because it just it's just that sort of extra touch like finishing touch to any project so that's just so beautiful there and she's wrote hashtag to Neil <laughs> now I'm just gonna have a quick check on the camera to make sure this is centered so you can see everything there we go that looks a lot better and let's try and not to move this out of frame so oh wow this is absolutely beautiful so I can see that Cheryl has included a lot of iridescence in here and pink which is just all the yummy things that I love look at all that look at the beautiful pink heart foam fillers how cute how adorable and she's included lots of these little gold little balls that I like and you know what I think I'm gonna go ahead and take some photos because this is just so beautiful I seem to have better lighting over here so I've just relocated and taken some photos as well so I'm going to open up what Cheryl has sent me here now and I'm going to try my best to actually preserve some of these beautiful shreds because it's just so pretty and iridescent and pink you know my favorite things pink iridescent shiny gorgeousness and these glitter balls are divine I love these glitter balls they're just my favorite thing ever so cute to add to projects so um, this is the part I really want to show off right Cheryl does her own wax seals and they are 
gorgeous like absolutely delicious look at that how beautiful is that um, I think Cheryl's done a stories update where she shows you how she mixes the wax blocks together to give this marbled effect and she just gently places a little gold leaf and does her stamping and look at that how pretty oops get rid of that little ball she's got my name on this envelope I think this might be my letter but let me just take everything out of the box um, before I before I open it then she's got this gorgeously wrapped package here with all the beautiful gold baubles stuck in there and they're just so pretty it's in this gorgeous iridescent pink um, cellophane so pretty She's got some wonderful little packages as well. Look at that decoration on the front of that. How beautiful. Cheryl is really, really, really good at um, decorating presents. That's just her thing. She's just, she always just makes them look so glamorous and so beautiful. And anyone who receives Cheryl's happy mail is so lucky, so blessed. This is what I mean. Like, how beautiful is that? So pretty. Lots more goodies in here. I'm gonna just try and collect some of the little trinkets that she's got included in here. Look at these beautiful little dainty roses. Oops, that's a little filler. Another little one there. How cute, like, how cute is that? There's, there's too many to collect, but th that gives you an idea. I don't know if she makes these or whether she buys them, but They've got a beautiful little square tulle, polka dot tulle underneath each flower. <laughs> How beautiful. And then this looks like a, oh, a Christmas ornament. That is so pink and delightful, Cheryl. I have never seen anything like this in Sydney. So totally not available to us here. What a beautiful gift. It's basically a sparkly pink glittery cotton candy Christmas ornament. I freaking love cotton candy. Everyone knows I'm obsessed with cotton candy. So to hang one on my tree is extra special. <laughs> um, I might just keep that in the box so it doesn't accidentally fall off and smash into a million pieces. Then there's this beautiful package, which looks like it's a little treat bag. Decorated with carousel, this one. And the little Hello Kitty lip balm. How cute. Strawberry flavor. Cheryl, I really like that you've kept everything pink and gold and iridescent for me. That's exactly what I love. And oh my God, I think she's made me an embellishment box. Holy crap. That is so beautiful. Cheryl, I can't wait to open this and show everyone. Like, wow. Wow, I haven't received that many Cheryl, um, Cheryl. I haven't received that many embellishment boxes in my lifetime. Um, this is maybe the third or fourth one I've received and I'm sure I'm gonna love it Yeah, okay, well, let's put everything aside. I like I said, I'm just gonna keep that in here so it doesn't break um, Take a couple of photos and I'll be right back Here we are I am going to firstly open what I think is her letter to me and I'm gonna do this in such a way that I don't actually break the seal so I'm going to be very careful and try and just pop that off without snapping it in two. It feels quite rubbery, but I think she's actually put a little bit of hot glue in there so that you can remove it quite easily. Um, there we go. So I've been able to keep that intact. Not the bag, unfortunately, but let me just put that aside because that's just so beautiful. I'll keep that forever. And in here is, yes, a letter to me. Um, it looks like it's quite long, so I'm not gonna read it on camera. I'm gonna read that um, in my own sweet time. So thank you, Cheryl. Thank you for that. Pop the letter back in, and I will put her wax seal back in as well. Next thing I'm gonna open is this package, which I've got no idea what it is but she's used carousel to decorate the front and included beautiful gold and pink trim down the bottom. How divine. She's used some of my favorite pieces from the carousel collection. I don't know whether she knew that, but <laughs> and it, or whether it was intentional, but it's so beautiful. Now, I don't know whether I'm supposed to um, 
remove that ribbon, but I don't really want to ruin it. So I might attempt to, yep, I think I can just slide that out. So here we go. Slide the content out. That's what it looks like. Ribbon intact, hooray. And she's just got this beautiful cherry blossoms paper bag. And she's decorated the top with layers and layers of beautiful doily and this little banner there and a ribbon, oh, sorry, a bow, a gold bow at the front. Really like it the way she's wrapped it up in such a way that I can open it without ruining her beautiful um, crafting. So, oh, Cheryl. Thank you so, 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 so very much. You cannot buy these in Australia. You simply, I, I've looked so hard at all the dollar stores, Hot Dollar, Hot Bargain, the Reject Shop, you name it, Daiso, cannot find it anywhere. Thank you so much, Cheryl. I really appreciate you sending these to me. I also received a packet from Tira and I remember receiving it from Tira going, gosh, I wish I had another packet so I can use them instead of hoarding them. And now I can. So thank you, Tira. And thank you, Cheryl, for these. Thank you so, so much. package I really don't want to open because the front of it is just stunning like oh, I think these puffy stickers are from the flourish collection but I could be wrong um, and she's used some all heart to decorate the front so I like that she's mixed my happy mail with a lot of different collections and instead of sticking with one and that's really quite a lot of fun I wonder if I can pop that off yeah, I'm just going to try and pop that off so I can keep it. There we go. This looks edible. <laughs> I'm not sure, but let's have a look. <coughs> Excuse me. And it is on. Oh, it melted. Oh, I'm so sad. Hmm. I think it's the stupid Australian weather because it's been so hot lately but she sent me this beautiful hotel chocolate Christmas mess I eat a mess given a festive makeover subtle cinnamon with cranberry white chocolate I assume <laughs> Cheryl if you don't mind I'm gonna open a little bit now and try I'm so so sorry that it melted but I'm sure it's still gonna taste amazing balls so here we go this is Neil once again eating in her crafting videos but I don't know just when I receive treats I find it really hard to like not open it and try it straight away <laughs> so unfortunately they are melted but let me just give that a bite mm, oh my god I have no words that's delicious oh my god I'm not gonna show anyone these treats in my household because everyone's just gonna steal it that they're just too good and I don't want to share it okay so it's basically white chocolate on the outside like a raspberry flavored cream in the middle or cranberry sorry and the packaging is right, the cinnamon is very, very subtle, but there's also something crunchy in it. I think they've like maybe added some white chocolate toffee or something like that on top, but that is so yum. I really don't care that it's melted because it's just as delicious. So thank you so much, Cheryl. Yum, yum. What a treat. Next thing I'm gonna open is this beautiful package with the dainty little flowers on it. And can you see that Cheryl's added these sparkly gem stickers to accent it and it's so cute Cheryl is super talented like really go and check out her Instagram she's just really into pink and glitter and mauve and um, gold and she just yeah she's just really good at you know putting girly colors together and making something amazing with it <gasps> Cheryl oh my god look at these 
Jeez, how pretty. Oh, that's like a little shaker pocket with a piece of doily in the back and some pieces from, I think this one's from, I want to say Chasing Dreams, but I might be wrong. It's either from Chasing Dreams or Gather, but look at the detailing on that. Like, so pretty. Thank you, Cheryl. And she's bought me these gem stickers, which I only picked up two or three packets while I was in Spain in July earlier this year. And I didn't get this color, but <laughs> it, <laughs> I'm laughing because it looks exactly like her wax seals. Like it's got purple, it's got the little gold leaf. They're almost like little gem sparkly versions of the wax seal that she just sent me. So <laughs> how very cute. Do you buy these in the UK or did you have to travel somewhere else in um, Europe to buy them? Because I think these are actually, yeah, they're actually Danish. So I'm curious to know, Cheryl. And wow, look at this. The Enchanted Swan dome stickers. I don't have any dome stickers. I missed out on the Merry Days dome stickers last year when they came out. But these are so pretty. Like, I'm thinking this will go really well with Heritage. They're Christmas as well, so I could add them. The non Christmassy ones I could add to um, my Heritage projects, and the Christmassy ones I will combine with Snowflake. How gorgeous. Thank you, Cheryl. Really pretty. Really, really pretty. The next thing I'm going to open is this beautiful package. I've seen uh, Cheryl wrap her happy mail to her pen pals like Maddie and uh, Alicia at Love Letter Generation with this pink ribbon and both of them have just felt this and gone, oh, it's so soft and fluffy and now I know what they mean. It is indeed very soft and fluffy and yeah, why don't I just spend the rest? Okay, so after spending two minutes just doing this, I finally had enough. I'll stop now and I'll open what's inside. Where does everyone get this beautiful iridescent cellophane? Like, I've seen Alicia use it as well, it's so pretty, but I haven't been able to find any in my local stores. Okay, so it's an embroidered, sorry, a loaded embroidery hoop and she's decorated the back of that with uh, pattern paper from the Doucet, Prima Marketing Doucet collection and wow, look at that, how delicious. Oh, Cheryl, you've been on a roll with Doucet lately, like that camera you gave Alicia was entirely made out of Doucet and look at that. Oh, she's even layered all the little tiny little wee flowers from the Doucet collection on the bottom there and she's added a gorgeous like pom-pom trim all around the embroidery hoop popped a faux leather bow at the top and then added some gorgeous ribbon at the top how stunning is this that's so pretty Cheryl she's got a horse there some hearts and these beautiful um cotton candy again decorating the front I think she just knows I love cotton candy <laughs> okay and she's filled it up with her handmade embro uh, embroidered handmade embellishments and they're so beautiful these are very very flat but um, they're so gorgeous because she's used this um, die cut which is like a little scalloped circle and it's just so pretty I think some of this is from the Chasing Dreams collection. Pretty. Oh, and I've been so lucky to receive some of her own handmade tassels. These are more pretty than anything you'll buy in the stores. Like, they're very similar to the Maggie Holmes ones, but I don't even like the Maggie Holmes colors as much as I do these three pink, pink colored ones that you've included and made here. Thank you, Cheryl. And she's backed that onto some all heart paper. How gorgeous. My tassels never end up that neat and pretty. So these are so impressive. Oh my God, I love these. Cheryl, you've used one of my favorite All Heart. All Heart is like my favorite crepe paper collection next to Carousel. And 
I love these how gorgeous I've just bought some star nesting dies off Aliexpress and I was gonna make some of my own but I haven't received them yet and you have made two very beautiful ones here thank you so much I could look at that forever and look <laughs> look at her tiny little packet of embellishments look at that look at that beautiful gold heart and the little pom-pom hanging off it then she's got like a rosette heart and just a wee little layer ticket there how pretty so I recognize these gems so those gems come from um, a packet not not too unlike this one and yeah so it's basically made by the same um, craft store in Denmark I love this this is so beautiful thank you so much Cheryl I'm gonna pop everything back in because I think this is where they belong um, I don't know if I can use these in my projects they're just too beautiful I just want to keep them and stare at them forever instead <laughs> You're so talented, Cheryl. I really like your your style. I really do. Cute. So cute. And lastly, I'm going to see what she's put in here, but it might be just... Um, I don't know if it's an embellishment or a sequence box, but let's open it and find out. So I think this piece is from, I don't think it's from Carousel, I think it's from Chasing Dreams or possibly even, mm, I don't know, I get my um, old Maggie Holmes collections mixed up, so I don't want to hazard a guess there, but just the decoration on that is so stunning. She's also put this like pom-pom, white pom-pom trim all around, so let me try and open this carefully. Oh my god. Holy crap. This is so beautiful. Wow. Cheryl Sterrick decorated the inside of that box. Can you see that layering happening in here? And she's included the most divine sequence collections in here. Like, look at them. Cheryl, how stunning. So I might take them out row by row. Um, I don't have a lot of shaped sequins in my collection. I have a lot of stars and round sequins and some heart sequins, heart shaped sequins, but she has included a whole bunch of different shapes in here. There's flower, heart, star, and a mix of, oh my God, a mix of shapes in here. How beautiful. And I bet these aren't all from AliExpress. Like I'm, probably some of them are. But I bet she's actually curated some of these from her local store, like craft stores, because I have no doubt that craft stores in the UK are way more extensive and varied than what's available to us in Sydney, which is so scarce. So scarce. Some beautiful pinks here. Oh my god, this is a horse-shaped, horse-shaped sequins, or not horse-shaped, unicorn-shaped sequins. <laughs> How dare I downplay a horse, a unicorn and call it a horse. My favourite pinks there. Fluoro pink sequins. My absolute, hands down, my absolute favourite. She's got some fluoro pink, some iridescent pink uh, flowers, semi-transparent stars there, and a beautiful cotton candy pink round sequins there. Then she moves on to the purples and the mauves, which every time I see colours like that, I think of Cheryl every time I just think it I don't know it just encompasses Cheryl it's like when I see sequins like that I call it the Cheryl filter <laughs> it's like she's put the Cheryl filter on something <laughs> and the last row are just some beautiful turquoises and greens love them almost all my sequins mixes um, except when I only go pink almost all my sequin mixes has a pop of green or turquoise in there so I'll definitely make use of these. How pretty. And that is everything. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, Cheryl. I love everything. It's 
stunning. You are so incredibly beautiful and talented. Thank you for your kind messages on Instagram. I really appreciate you putting together such a beautiful Happy Mail package for me. I'm really looking forward to putting together and crafting up a storm for you in return. And um, yeah, I, I look forward to sending it to you and hopefully you will like it just as much as I've, I've loved this. Thank you everyone else for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!